So, looks like we have a nine-year-old male who was on a dirt bike when they hit a wall. Uh, sounds like it's some bleeding from the mouth. Uh, right now, we got reduced code two, so maybe less of a critical call, but we'll you know, get him checked out. What's up, how's it going? He was uh, in the front of a motorcycle with this other young lady. Instead of putting his hands on the actual, the front of the bike, he actually gassed it. Okay. They were sitting on the corner from the corner, they actually crossed across the street and hit the wall. Okay. No loss of consciousness. He got scrapes on his hands, knees. You see some little yep. bit of scrapes on his face. Healthy kid, not taking any meds, no allergies. He's got little gashes on his lips, but his teeth are all intact. Cool. That's really it. How's it going, bud? Yeah, we're gonna sit right here. Way up high, okay? There we go. All right. Oh, you got dad to come with him? Cool. Do you want yeah. dad? How's it going, dad? Oh, we'll have him sit in the airway. Uh, bed seat for? Uh, we'll have him, uh, yeah. Whatever seat. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, sorry, buddy. sorry, buddy. He's just, he's just worried about his brother. They're back to back, so. Are you the oldest? It hit a wall going about, it sounds like low speed. He's not wearing any helmets. It sounds like instead of grabbing the brake, you grab the throttle. And a pit in the wall, he's got some facial abrasions, no loss of consciousness, so he's doing pretty good, all things considered. Any, like, dizziness, blurred vision, anything like that? Oh, no. No? And you remember the whole thing? Yeah. OK. All right. And your head's just hurting all right here? Nothing here, nothing back here still? There's still nothing here? OK, good. He was probably going about 10 to 15 miles an hour. That's what, That would be our guess from what we yeah. saw. Uh, good thing is he said he remembers the whole thing, didn't get knocked out. There's no neck pain, there's no back pain. Yeah. Of course, he has a headache, but you can see where there's still some swelling on his, on his forehead and on his lip. But I know it's scary, accidents happen, but yeah, yeah. things are looking pretty good right now. His vitals are phenomenal, so. That's good. It's just a scary one right now. You comfortable, buddy? Yeah. You want a blanket? No. No? I wish I had more stickers to give you, but I'm out. So you play soccer, you ride dirt bikes, you're a superhero. What else you do? Uh, I, I, uh, I like basketball. Yeah? Who's your favorite team? Uh, Kings. The Kings, all right. So, Louie, we're going to be pulling up in just a minute. Kind of like what I told you before, you know, we're going to go in and we're going to tell all the nurses and the doctors what happened, and they'll take care of you. Might do some x-rays, um, and they're just going to get you all, all good, OK? Yeah. Awesome. We are here. Hey, you know what this is? No. It's basically water. So when he opens the door, just squirt him. Yeah, squirt him, squirt him, squirt him. Oh, did he spray? shot. <laughs> 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 For a second, I thought he was going to get capped. Four year old male swallowed a double A battery. Oh, get that one at a nine volt. Uh, what unit? We're looking for 39. Perfect. Here. Knock, knock. Hi. Hi, bud. Can we come in? Are you mom? Grandmother. Grandmother. Are you taking care of him today? Yes. Okay. Do you feel okay? Do you have anything that hurts? Do you have any owies? No? Okay, good. What happened? Did you swallow something? Yeah? What'd you swallow? Yes. Do you swallow a battery? Yeah. Okay, your belly doesn't hurt. Do you have a hard time breathing? A little bit? Okay. All right, buddy. Well, we're going to check you out real fast, okay? How long ago did he uh, swallow the battery, would you say? 20 minutes ago. Okay. I went in the bathroom when it was time to pull my fingers down his throat. Okay. Is that the one, kiddo? Do you eat that one? battery. See if we can't find it, okay? These are called my ears. It goes right in here, and I get to hear things. I'm going to listen to your back, OK? You just take some deep breaths. Let me see how big you can breathe in. Breathe in big and deep. Yes. You take a deep breath. There you go. OK, you did such a good job. Grandma, so right now, his lungs sound good. He's got 100% oxygen in his blood. His pulse rate's right where it needs to be. You can see he's not in any sort of distress, anything like that. So it's not in his respiratory system, which is good. So um, 
We'll get on the phone, though, we can call Poison Control. They can give us a little bit better direction on uh, what they would like right, to do. It wasn't we'll run him down. He's not in any sort of distress. Um, his respirations were good. His lungs sound good. It's definitely not in his airway, which is our main concern. So a uh, little bit of a peace of mind for Grandma here. Uh, we also contacted Poison Control just to get a little bit more of a direction. Um, they uh, you know, have certain protocols that they go about. Poison Control, say anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they talked to the physician uh, with poison control. They were just worried about the battery, like, turning sideways in the stomach, not being able to pass. Uh, so they were recommended that he be transported so they could scope it and gotcha. see if he could pass it or if they need to remove it. Perfect. Uh, their main concern is if it turns sideways and doesn't pass, it could leak the internal acids from the battery. Gotcha. One, two, three. So they want him to be transported to the hospital where, again, they'll be able to scope him and visualize that battery and see if maybe they need to extract it or if it seems like it's in a good position to let nature do its course, we'll let him go ahead and pass it. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Take care, buddy. Feel better? OK. You're going to be OK. Can I get a thumbs up? There it is. I like it, pal. Good job, bud. We got a motor vehicle accident, a uh, possible rollover. Uh, the US 60 looks like at the uh, 101 off ramp. Uh, unknown number of victims. Uh, vehicle may still be on its roof. There's potential for victims trapped. Fortunately, everybody's moving to the right. That certainly makes things much more fluid for us to get on scene. We've located the motor vehicle accident. Uh, best access is going to be eastbound US 60 to northbound 101. We have a vehicle that rolled over. It landed on its wheels. All occupants are out of the vehicle. Hey, guys. Ran. What's that? Still ran. Still ran? Yeah, it was parked over there. Oh, gotcha. You just brought it over here to this side? OK, is the vehicle turned off now? Yeah, it's off. OK, right on. OK. Are you hurting anywhere? Hey, big guy. Yeah. Just your leg? What's leg? Come to me. Do you mind if my friend here? Hold All right. Him. We'll check him out real fast, OK? What's his name? What's your name? Ethan. Hi, Ethan. How are you? And how are you doing, young lady? A little scared, a little shaken up. Good. Scary thing to go through, right? Your left leg's what's hurting you? It just hurts a little. A little bit. That's OK. Do you mind if I roll your ankle up just so we can look at it? And take a look at it, okay? Was he in a car seat? Okay. How's he been acting for you? Normal? Yeah? Like nothing happened? That's a good thing, right? Kids are pretty resilient. They bounce back all right. So if you're concerned about him, I would yeah, no. rest assured he's doing all right, okay? Hey, big guy. He would not have done what he just did if he wasn't yeah. running over to yeah. me like that. He yeah. would have been clutched onto you for sure, okay? So My friend here, you gotta get your blood pressure. Do you lose control of the vehicle? One way, I lost control, and then I came this way. It rolled, and it... You seem to be moving around quite a bit really well. I'm going to just check your neck and your head and make sure you didn't bump it and nothing hurts you, okay? None of that causes you any pain? Okay. That's good. So what we have, uh, a motor vehicle accident. As you can see, pretty significant damage. Uh, but fortunately, the vehicle did what it was supposed to do, you know, designed to save the occupants inside, and it, it did that here today. Um, they're gonna walk away with what looks like minor injuries. Uh, and this little kiddo, he's doing great. This mom seems like she did everything right. Uh, had the kid in a, in a child restraint seat. The kiddo was sitting inside with the belts on properly. And in the end, that's what's gonna keep them safe. There you go. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> One and a half year old shoved some Cheerios up his nose. Been there. It's like yesterday. It wasn't his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I've First had, time going on cereal. I've yeah. had other things other objects. up nose. Yeah. I've had an adult with a <laughs> up his butt. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> you grab the peds bag just in case. Thanks. Hey, buddy. <laughs> he is the happiest. <laughs> So do you guys know how much he shoved up there? Or it was cereal? It was cereal? OK. All right. Has he started choking or anything? No. When did you notice? Did you just look over and see him? 
Okay. <laughs> Dad, what's what's? Oh, there it is. Oh, almost. You almost got it out, bud. Oh, yeah, it's all right, it's buddy. Out. It's okay. Obviously, we don't want to leave that in there. We don't really have the ability to take it out ourselves. We can call an ambulance to, to give you guys a ride over there. It's all right? Okay. I've got a little one and a half year old that shoves some cereal up his nostril. He just sneezed it out. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, shoot. He just well, sneezed well. it out. Wow. Hopefully that was all that it was and he got it out. Those sneezes are pretty powerful sometimes. Right. <laughs> all right, have a good night. So as a parent myself, little ones get into some crazy stuff. You never know what they're gonna do. You always have to keep an eye on them. And you kind of chuckle when you come on a call like this, especially once you know that the little guy's okay. He's sitting there just smiling and we all get a kick out of it because we know what kids do. but. Luckily for him and for the parents, we don't have to take him to the hospital tonight and everything's all is well. So we'll carry on. This is a four-year-old child hit by a vehicle. Um, the circumstances Engine 210 alarm. Uh, are unclear to us. Engine 210. The comments just say no obvious this deformity, no bleeding. Child is in the parking lot. I'm assuming it's them. Yeah. I don't know. Are we here for her? Okay. Backwards. Oh, hi. How are you guys? Good. We were walking across the street. And we, she was carrying the dog, so I was kind of concentrated on them. Uh-huh. And I, a I didn't even see the Jeep coming, and it kind of pushed me, and then it ran all the way over him. It ran all the way over him? Oh, OK. Well, what but a he doesn't yeah. seem hurt. Well, we're definitely going to take him in. The fact that he got run completely over? The car was com completely on the front of the engine. Okay, on your on his body or his arm or what? It was it let's take it off. I don't think it like went over him. Like I don't think anything got ran over. He was just underneath it, if that makes sense. Under the car, but not yeah, under the it tire. Was lifted a little bit. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah. I see. That I was like, huh, okay, this is interesting. Okay. So hey bud. He's got a little abrasion right yeah. here. What's his yeah. What's his first name? Lucky. L U C K Y. Yeah. I would say that's a fitting I'm name. Sorry. Hey. Hey, are you hurting anywhere? Yeah. Do you have an owie? Can I see yeah. this for you? Where is it? Can you show me? Yeah. Where's your owie? He his hand. Can we get a good um, look at his head, please? Yeah. Oh, okay. Really cry out. I would like him to go in and get checked out just because we don't know for sure. Yeah, I'm just trying to think if it's like emergent because I don't want to cause him anymore. Like, right. So you want to take him in yourself? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I wish you guys the best of luck. Okay. I'm glad you're okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, Bye. of course. Bye. Bye. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Bye. Bye. We checked him out. No obvious trauma. He seemed fine. So she's going to take him in on her own just to get him checked out, just to make sure. But his name is Lucky. Yeah. Crazy. Hey, guys. I'm Matt Eisman from Live Rescue. Subscribe to A&E for more videos and catch full episodes on AETV.com.